Good morning. Um, I was doing a video earlier and somehow I got cut off. But that's alright. I'm going to just get right to the point. Um, this morning I was walking. God woke me up around 540. And, you know, when I walked outside, it was still kind of dark, but where the clouds were pinkish in appearance. So, that time of the morning. And I started walking and I started walking, running and walking and praying. And um, I looked up and I saw a face. I, I saw a face. I saw two eyes and a nose and a mouth. And I saw that it was very menacing in appearance. I could see it real clear. Um, but as I kept walking, the loop in my neighborhood every time I would come back to that spot where I could see it it would start it would fade more and more into the background as the morning light got brighter it was harder to see and by the time I got to the end of my walk I couldn't see it and and the whole time I'm praying the whole time I'm praying and I'm like, God, what in the world is this? What what am I seeing? And um I prayed and God said it had to tell me about two or three times before I could really get it. Um He says, Victoria, the closer the light comes, the harder it's gonna be for people to see see Satan for who he is. And, you know, I just kept asking God, huh, what? He says, the brighter the light becomes, the more Satan is going to hide. And then I understood it, that we are on the cusp of Christ's coming. And Christ said he is the light of the world. He is the glorious light of righteousness and holiness. And y'all, he's on his way. And we can see if we're paying attention, if we're paying attention, we can start seeing some of the rays in the spiritual sky. If we're paying attention, we know he's coming. And because he's coming, Satan is making it his business to fade into the background to the place where we can't see him and there is a danger in that there is a danger in that God is talking to us and God is talking because he loves us the scripture says that God is long suffering that none should perish but that all will come to a place of repentance that all can come to the place where we can abide in grace and mercy where all of us can come into a place where we walk in the abundance of his life but some of us are not coming to that place because we're not discerning we're not discerning right from wrong anymore and God is warning us about that it's harder to see Satan now and you can tell it the scripture says we'll live in a time where right will be called wrong and wrong will be called right but many times in the scriptures, he admonishes us to discern what we're looking at, to try all spirits, all spirits of everything by the Holy Ghost. And it's a danger when we don't make it our business to discern and to look past what we see with our physical eyes and, and to hear past what we can hear with our physical ear 
to feel past what our human emotions will feel being surfaced in this hour is dangerous it's dangerous and as I was praying as I was praying I said Lord let me see and you know what the Holy Spirit said Victoria you will all be able to see if you use the glasses I gave you y'all everything that we're coming encountered with everything even in the gospel world even in our churches we have to we have to line it and measure it up by the word of God because the scripture says it's no marvel that Satan himself will, will try to blend into the light. And he's doing it. And a lot of us are in spiritual danger where we stand. Because we don't see. And then when the Holy Ghost. Through whatever mean that he uses. Whatever vehicle he uses. When the Holy Ghost says. You know this is wrong. Or this is the right way. We don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. The atmosphere is changing and it's changing fast. And y'all, our souls, our very souls, the undying eternal element in us is going to go somewhere. And if we are not paying attention to where we're going, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in churches. We're going to spend the rest of our mortal lives in ministry. And we're going to wake up and find ourselves in hell if we are not careful. There is another level of sin that is more dangerous than the sin we can see with our eyes it's more dangerous than, than homosexuality it's more dangerous than adultery it's more dangerous than stealing it's more dangerous than lying it's more dangerous it's dangerous and it's called the sin of neglect and it's called the sin of blindness and it's called the sin of mixing good and evil and y'all some of us are partaking in it and God is warning us not to not to because the light of his coming is showing up. And some of us can't see. The closer God gets to us. The closer Christ's return is. The more the devil is going to hide. Why can't we understand that? And we dismiss the truth. We dismiss the scripture. With scripture. And y'all, we are in a dangerous place when we do it. There's a song that we sing in our church. And it needs to be a song that we sing with our hearts and our spirit. Open the eyes, God, of my heart. So I can see you. Because we live in a place. And we live in a time. Where it's dark. But we can't tell it. Because darkness is trying to imitate the light that's coming. And it knows it's coming. And so it's doing it's best to mimic it. To imitate it. And it's pulling us. A lot of us away. It's pulling us. It's pulling us. But God is warning us. And y'all, I don't want. I was telling a good friend of mine. I said, I know what it takes for me to get through the day. I don't want to add spiritual blindness and the dangers of spiritual blindness to whatever I, I already struggle and battle with. We can't afford it. And just like the Lord showed it to me, just clear, it's harder to see. But if we ask God, 
And we all, it don't matter what, what level of spiritual maturity we're at, we all should ask God to help us see. We need to ask God to help us see past what we see and hear past what we hear and feel past what we feel, y'all. We can't afford to be surface. We can't afford to be surface-minded. Our very souls, our very souls, our very souls are hanging in the balance. And the devil is full of wrath and he's full of anger. And he's going to do anything it takes. It's gonna, he's going to do whatever it takes to blind us and to fool us and to lead us into the pit with him. But God is so loving and he's so merciful. And every opportunity God has, he shows us and he speaks to us. And he says, wake up, children. Wake up. Walk in the light. Wake up. Wake up. I'm coming. Wake up. Wake up. God, help us. Oh, God, help us. Wake up. And discern what's around you. We're there. We are there. And if we're not living right, if we're not even putting forth the effort to live right, if we're not putting forth the effort to see the spirit in all things and to guard ourselves against any level of sin whether external or whether it's invisible and we can't see it we put ourselves in danger walk in the light children if we abide in the light of Christ he will show us all things and he will keep us from stumbling he will keep us from falling. He will keep us from being deceived. And he desperately wants to. But we got to want to see. We got to want truth. We got to accept what God says. And we have to live within the statutes that God set. Don't be drawn away by the darkness that poses itself as light. Because it will put us to sleep. And the Bible says a little sleep and a little slumber. And surely your poverty will come. And there's a poverty that's coming that has nothing to do with our economic status. But there's a poverty that's coming that's called the very absence of God. And if we don't wake up, we will live in extreme horrid spiritual poverty in the lake of fire. God help us. Try all spirits. Try everything. Every conversation. Every every message. Every word. Every song. Every conversation. Every place. Every space. Try it by the Holy Spirit. So you can see. So you can see clear. Because y'all if we want to see God will show us. And just like this morning I'm going to end with this. By the time I got to my the end of my morning walk that face I could see very clearly about 10 or 15 minutes before I couldn't see it I couldn't see it but I could still feel it and it's because God if we want to see God to help us see even when it's invisible God to help us see it God to help us hear it God to help us y'all and he wants to so y'all, let's press to see. There's a lot of abominable things going on. There's a lot of things posing itself as right and gospel and true. And it's not. And the world is trying to present the word of God and the statutes of God and, and, and the order of God as wrong. And it's not. God is always right. And the world is always wrong. And there is no mixing of the two. I love you all. Y'all be encouraged, y'all. Let's strive to see. 
Because our souls are at, at, at stake. And y'all, Christ is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. And we don't want to be found lacking. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed in the Lord.